Welcome back to another episode of Living in Denver. My name is Adam, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys some pros and some cons of living in Denver, Colorado in the fall. Really excited to share this with you. Stay tuned. So as I said, today I'm going to be sharing with you my pros and my cons of living in Denver, Colorado in the fall. My favorite time of year without a doubt. Really excited to share this with you. Before we get started though, my phone number, my email, all that info is down below. My name is Adam Lang. I'm a licensed realtor here in Denver, Colorado. I love connecting with people like yourselves that might be considering moving here to the Mile High City. And also like and that subscribe button. I release videos like this every week and I'd love for you to be the first to get them. Let's go ahead and get started though. Again, my pros and cons of living in Denver, Colorado in the fall. Let's go. All right, so jumping right into it. Number one, my first pro of why I love fall in Colorado, especially in Denver, it's gonna be no brainer, the seasons. So if you're not familiar with Denver or with Colorado in general, the best things about living here is we have all four seasons and all four seasons are very pronounced. They're very unique and they all have their benefits to them. So one of the reasons why fall happens to be my favorite is it starts to cool off after a hot summer. The fall colors are incredible in Colorado and it's just a time of year where everybody's getting excited for the winter coming up with ski season, We've got football and other stuff back. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a great time of year. In addition to just having that variety with seasons, the other big part of this is just the colors. So so, you know, fall in Colorado is arguably the prettiest time of year. However, people would probably say that about all four seasons because they all are in their own different ways beautiful. But with fall, especially if you time it right, end of September going into the early to middle part of October, all depends on what part of Colorado you're visiting. But that is the time where the leaves are just incredibly vibrant. And it's just a very special time where everybody's happy and just appreciative of the beauty that we get to call home here in Colorado. Again, my first pro is just going to be the just the beauty of Colorado. It if you're wanting a few specific, you know, local tips on places that I love going in the fall, without a doubt, number one is just going to be Aspen. The Roaring Fork Valley, which goes everywhere from Glenwood Springs all the way to Aspen through Carbondale and Basalt. That whole valley is just my personal favorite. I lived there for a long time and it's just a place very near and dear to my heart. A couple tips there would be going up to Carbondale, through Carbondale to Marble. You can visit the uh, Crystal Mill and just the old ghost town of Crystal. In Incredible, huge, huge, huge spans of nothing but aspen trees. And again, you time it right, it is just this amazing gold vista of gold leaves as far as you can see. So that's one of my favorite spots. The Crystal Mill hike is also really fun. And there's a really, really good barbecue restaurant in Marble to check out. That'd be one of my recommendations. Another one would just be to go up to Aspen. There's a couple very iconic places to visit when you're in Aspen. One of those being the Maroon Bells. The Maroon Bells is obviously just the spot that you've seen in pictures. It's actually the most photographed place in Colorado. But there's there's some really great hikes that you can take from Maroon Lake. Depending on what time of year you go up in the fall, depending on how late in the fall you go up, they are requiring you to take a bus from Aspen Highlands up to the actual Maroon Bells. If that's the case, not a big deal. That's a great way just to, again, preserve the, the pureness of the Maroon Bells. But once you get up there, you can actually take a hike. It's about, I'd say maybe about an hour at the most up to Crater Lake. Maroon Lake is where you start. You go up to Crater Lake. Again, it's about an hour long, but you get past all of the, the tourists and just the populated parts part of where the 99% of the people are hanging out and taking pictures. You get a little bit past that and it's just all to yourself. I've seen moose up there. It's just, again, very, very just awe-inspiring because you're in the middle of nowhere. There's no other roads up there. In fact, if you stay on this trail and keep going, eventually it'll take you to Creston Butte, another really fun hike to do in the summertime in July for wildflower season. That'd be another recommendation. And then one last one would be to go up Castle Creek Road. Again, this is in Aspen. When you're going through the roundabout, your first turn is basically going to be to Maroon Bells. The next one is going to be to Castle Creek. And Castle Creek is awesome. You can take it all the way till it dead ends in a town called Ashcroft. A really, really fun restaurant to grab lunch there called the Pine Creek Cookhouse. Never been there before. That is a must do. Definitely put that on your bucket list. Not only is it a great place for food, just the foods, you know, food and drink is awesome there. But again, you're just in this amazing setting where you've got nothing but 360 degree views of the fall colors and just the beauty of the Rocky Mountains. So 
couple tips for you guys, but again, my first pro is just gonna be the seasons and the fall colors. All right, so my second pro is gonna be, and this is a, probably the case for most places in the United States, but it's gonna be just the excitement of football and just sports. So when I say sports, I wanna go into two categories here, both professional sports as a spectator, but also just a ton of sport and just recreational activities that really become a lot more enjoyable in Denver and in Colorado in general in the fall. I love summer also, but I get hot easy and I just really enjoy the fall because the temps cool down and for being an active outdoorsy type person you can really get after it and not be you know sweating as much and just it's a lot more pleasant of an environment to enjoy doing your activities when it comes to again recreational activities you know mountain biking road biking hiking golf is great this time of year in Denver there's a lot of really fun activities that also become a little bit less popular when it comes to like golf and sports that um, maybe require you to make your reservation golf probably I guess be my, probably the main one but uh, it's a time of year where, you know, you have a little bit easier time getting tea times and it's just not quite as busy. People start to kind of uh, switch gears and start thinking about, you know, ski season in winter. By the time you hit October 1st, a lot of the ski areas are already having their sales on their passes for season passes. Some of those have already passed the first tier of the cheapest prices. So, you know, they really get earlier and earlier and earlier every year when they really start promoting the upcoming winter season. When that happens, a lot of people switch gears and again, just aren't in the same mindset of golf and mountain biking and just doing in some of these activities that in my opinion this is the best time of year to do them definitely keep that in mind if you move out here make sure you just keep at it and really start you know focusing and being intentional about getting out and doing those activities even if it is in september and october that's for the recreational part of this for professional sports obviously if you're a football fan this is a great time of year you know colorado has a phenomenal fan base when it comes to sports our denver nuggets won you know the championship last year and the basketball gets started pretty soon here as well in the fall but also football obviously not only is the denver broncos had a rough couple years but you know they're always still very front and center when it comes to popularity but we've also got a great college football team wearing the shirt today see you buffs my alma mater great season so far with them and just the excitement behind boulder and the uh the football season we're starting off and really excited about so when it comes to you know professional sports fall is probably my favorite time of year when it comes to being a spectator and a fan so you also have you know again baseball's ending rockies haven't been doing that great so they're not going to the playoffs this year but uh, in the past when they have we have a thing called rocktober which is again just the playoffs and for the rockies when that does happen and we're looking like we're a decent team again it's been a while but that's a very very fun time as well to be a fan in denver so great sports city when it comes to really all sports but for my my personal favorite football both for football with the nfl with the broncos and of course the cu buffs go buffs all right so now that i've shared with you my first pro my first con is going to be not the most exciting topic but it's going to be allergies you know in colorado a lot of you know i've been here my whole life but i've had friends come and go and anytime i have friends move to colorado one of the things that always comes up in the fall is them complaining about allergies and it's not just for people that have moved here I deal with it as well so you know allergies are something that are very common in the fall in Colorado the number one would probably be the ragweed pollen and again this is very seasonal and it's also dependent on where in Colorado you're living so in Denver the last couple years I've really noticed this a lot more pronounced myself just with every morning waking up with the stuffy nose I'm having to start you know using some Zyrtec and just some different over-the-counter allergy medicines which I didn't have to take when I was younger so maybe that's just getting old but um, you know allergies are definitely something to just keep in mind and be aware of if you're considering moving to Denver when it comes to the fall months of the year. If you have bad allergies, definitely talk to your doctor and just get on a regimen from the get-go so you don't have to deal with it, at least not deal with it as bad as it could be. Again, I think it's ragweed pollen is the number one, but there's also a lot of other stuff that just kind of goes around. Different types of grass, usually, you know, the people stop mowing by, you know, September, October, so it doesn't get quite as bad with the cutting of the grass, but there are different types of, uh, you know, just grasses and different things in the environment that really uh, spike up in the fall. So my first con again it's just going to be allergies all right guys so my second con fall again is my favorite season so it's hard to really come up with cons but what i will say for some people is just the diversity when it comes to the temperature on any single given day so fall is one of those seasons in denver where you could wake up in the morning and need to put on your you know long sleeve shirt or your hoodie to drive to the gym in the morning you got the heated seats on even you know the heat blasting at 6 a.m by you know lunchtime it's already shorts and t-shirt weather pushing 80 degrees 
or even higher. And then by sunset at six or seven, you're back to needing a long sleeve shirt as you walk your dog or you know, go out for an evening stroll after work. So in one given day, you might need to bring a jacket, a pair of pants, literally all different types of clothing might come into play in the fall in Denver and in Colorado in general. Some people kind of uh, have a hard time with that and complain about that occasionally, but keeps things interesting. As long as you're just aware of this and can plan a little bit ahead of time, you know, keep an extra jacket in your car, you know, maybe you bring a change of clothes for after work, that kind of thing. As long as you do that, you're going to be fine. So obviously fall is September, October, November. As far as the kind of the average temperatures, if you're not very familiar with Denver and what to kind of expect, for the month of September, the average high is 79. The average low is about 50 degrees. So we got quite a bit of a range when you come into play in September. You move into October, it's even more pronounced. The average high is only 66 and the average low can get all the way down to 38. So again, you can see a significant change from September to October. And then November, depending on the year some years november is great some years we don't really get too much moisture and it's still nice and warm and get that late fall where the leaves are still on the trees kind of hanging on till the very last bit of fall and in those type of years you know november's also a great time of year but other years it can get pretty gross in november just a lot of kind of gray cold you know kind of gloomy days but the average high for november is going to be 50 and the average low is down to 25 so as you can see it significantly changes september october and into november just in case you guys need a little extra info on that there you go all right so again couple quick pros couple quick cons about fall in denver colorado my favorite time of year if you haven't been out here yet in the fall make it a point to come out in the fall specifically obviously there's great things to do all year long in denver colorado but fall has some things that are very unique about it that in my opinion make it even better of a city than it already is so again guys if you haven't yet hit that like and that subscribe every week releasing videos just like this one some more real estate focused and some just kind of like this just talking about some of the reasons why denver and colorado are just such a great place to live if you guys need anything reach out my phone number my email all that info is down below love connecting with you guys and until next time have a great rest of your day and we'll see you then bye